like a regular beach. I don't feel like I can just sit down and, you know, read a book. It feels much, it feels intense. Because of its surveillance, it's just become like a no man's land, specifically on the U.S. side. This is actually a destination for birds that come all the way down from like Alaska. They go all the way down, they stop here at the, the San Diego Tijuana Estuary, and they keep migrating all the way down to South America. I think it's possible for, you know, like contradictions to like exist simultaneously. And in this instance, we have the absurdity of attempting to keep uh, people and cultures separate with a steel wall. And then there's that practical like aspects of it, which include a country's sovereignty and its, and its right to like, you know, defend its borders. Once you get to San Diego, there's a really strong Chicano culture here. And you go over to TJ and you see we're so close to each other and just this exchange that happens. And I don't think most of the country understands that we kind of thrive off of each other. You know, my family, uh, we grew up going there every year um, from my earliest childhood memories every single summer. So whenever the topic comes up about the border or what's, what's going on with the border, the first thing that comes to my mind is you know, my grandfather saying he didn't become an American citizen until late in life. He lived here his entire life building a business and building a large family. I don't know, the wall is just, it's just creepy. <laughs> Ironically, the surf is better now that they put up the border because there's a good sandbar that comes off of it. Si planean nadar o navegar, por favor asegúrese de regresar al país de su partida. Es decir, si empezó a nadar en los Estados Unidos, por favor regrese a los Estados Unidos. Si planea cruzar la frontera, hágalo solo a través de los puntos de control fronterizos oficiales. De acuerdo con los reglamentos fronterizos, absténgase de realizar ningún intercambio de bienes con otras personas de lados opuestos de la frontera. Evite el contacto físico con las personas del otro lado de la frontera. Las condiciones de la resaca marina varían. Y si usted planea practicar surf, por favor hágalo de forma segura. Uh, we paddle out to right where the international border disappears and turns into an invisible line and, uh, and catch waves in the spirit of brotherly love. As a Mexican-American, as a Chicano, like this is something that I've lived with my whole life, like this in-betweenness. My parents were born in Texas and their parents were born in Texas. When my dad went to school, there was a school for black kids, a school for Mexican kids, and a school for white kids. Like, my parents went to a segregated school in a state that they were born in. So, like, um, you can't run away from your skin color, you know? We're Mexican, like, no matter where we're from. Whether it's Texas or California, we're Mexican. But when I go to other countries, like, my nationality is American. Like, I live in both identities, ethnicity and nationality. So does everybody else. Almost we go to Mexico. Almost we go to Mexico, bro. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs>